Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and uh, again, it's time for a breakfast with Blaha. And you guys can see from my face, I'm not particularly amused this morning. So, I had someone message me last night to my fan page, letting me know what had happened and apologizing. He actually apologized to me on behalf of the Muslim community in Canada, which I appreciate that. But it was before I started getting all the other messages. He said, hey, some clown used your name to troll you and made some video up here in Canada. Uh, it might get ugly. Sorry about that. Like, okay, and then I've been banning trolls. So... Apparently, yet again, and for those who are unaware, including the, the people coming over to hate on me who are unaware, imitating me on the internet is a hobby of a lot of people, and this has been occurring for years and years and years and years, okay? This is not new. This will not be the first. It will not be the tenth. Uh, it will definitely not be the last time it happens. I'm sure it'll happen another hundred times, but there have been literally hundreds of of cases of people imitating me on the internet. Again, sometimes in cases where the police have actually came and talked to me about it and they won't on this one because I've already told them, I will sue you if you contact me again over someone imitating me on the internet and waste my time. Okay, I don't have time for it. It's usually on forums and in video games where people pretend to be me and harass people and hurl racial slurs or whatever it is that they do. To get people to then they come to my page and say, hey, you were really mean on this video game to, to us. And I'm like, it wasn't me. I don't play Call of Duty. Same thing with TikTok. I don't even know much about TikTok other than it's a supposedly a, a communist company. that Therefore, I don't support it. Okay, That's what I know about TikTok. I've never been on TikTok's website. I don't watch TikTok. I don't use TikTok. But apparently there was some event in Canada, which again, this is where I'm brutally honest with people. Like, I'm, I'm insensitive. For those chiming in, I'm, I'm not always a nice guy. I give tough love. I'm a strength coach by profession. I coach mostly powerlifters and fighters right now. I'm not particularly nice. I'm not a sensitive person. I quite frankly don't care what happened in Canada. See, you guys get this fake sincerity from people all the time. Oh, well, oh I'm so... This tragic law, I, I don't care. I don't care what happened. I haven't researched it. I don't know. It's not part of my world. Sorry if that offends people. I don't know what happened. Something with cars or trucks. And apparently this clown decided, because again, he's probably one of these circle jerks of trolls, and apparently he's in Canada, made a video inciting violence, making fun of the situation, I don't know, I haven't seen the video, and I really don't care to see the video. But apparently it hasn't been pulled, um, and again, he used my name. I think a bunch of people came over saying, no, it's the wrong Jason Blaha. No, 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 it's the right Jason Blaha. These people use my name all the time to get harassment my way, right? To get people to hate me, to get people angry at me. I've been faked many, many, many times. Or they do it as pranks. There was a channel who almost basically built their career imitating me in public and pulling pranks under my name on camera. It was in, my name was used intentionally. It's not his real name, I can assure you. So this clown made this video to do that. Here's what I'm going to say to that guy. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was worth it. I hope you had your fun. One thing I have learned about the internet when you, when you put up your face in something, that's it. People will find you, all right? There, people are good at this, of taking stuff like that. And if you actually put your face, that was my understanding. Some people said they saw, no, he doesn't look or sound like Blaha. Okay, good. You filmed yourself and did this. In my experience on the internet, it will probably take people less than 24 hours to identify you, and they'll probably dox you, and you're going to have a real, real fun time. So, I hope it was worth it. I hope you had your fun. You're about to not have a real fun week.
again, you, <laughs> you pissed off a bunch of people with nonsense like this and tried to blame it on someone else who's famous already, who gets has this sort of stuff happen all the time. Well, the reason I'm addressing this one is because multiple it's caused enough blowback already that I, I need to address it. But you just threw your own life away. You basically just threw your own life away. You are an idiot. Actually, if you hate me, you're probably an idiot. Actually, you're probably a weak pussy if you hate me. <clears throat> Everyone I've noticed who, who hates on me online is always a weak ass pussy who can't even deadlift 500 pounds. Man. Every time. We're supposedly lifters and stuff, right? I, I, I don't, because that's what I talk about. That's what my entire channel is about. I'm here to get people strong. It's the entirety of what I do, it's my profession. It's my profession, it's my life strength. It's what I do. Although anyone coming along to, to hate, if you want to stick around, or if you guys got drawn, you want to stick around, please stick around. Learn something. I'll teach you, I'll get your deadlift to five, six hundred pounds. Right? Stick around, guys. It's all good. I don't care. I don't care if you're Muslim. I coach Muslims. Not a big deal. So, that's that. I've seen a few of the factual details that I've seen in comments. No one said, these bodybuilders don't act like this. What? Don't. First of all, don't call me a fucking bodybuilder. That's offensive. I don't like bodybuilding. I am... Philosophically opposed to bodybuilding, everybody knows this. Again, do your due diligence, people. Okay, let's not go there. Yes, bodybuilders do engage in clownery. It's part of being a bodybuilder. They're clowns, for the most part. There we go. Got my one anti-bodybuilder line in, so that's complete. Uh, another thing, someone had said, he lives in the state. I live in Texas. Again, people are talking about being offensive to people. I am a Texan. You need to get that straight too. I live in Texas, not the states. All right, Texas is the best state. We are better than the rest of the country. We know this. It's part of our culture, by the way. We culturally believe and teach that. So yes, I am not in Canada. The guy doing this apparently was in Ontario. I've never been to Ontario. I'm not exactly sure where Ontario is. It's somewhere way up north in Canada. Um, I could probably, I could go look on a map if I cared. I don't actually know where Ontario is specifically, but that's where he is. I live in Texas, right? It's thousands of miles away. Everybody knows I live in Texas. It's common knowledge. So, in short, uh, for those listening, wasn't me. Obviously, it wasn't me. Anyone who saw it knows it wasn't me. Everyone knows I'm in Texas, not Canada. And the guy who did it, I hope you had your fun. Because you probably just threw, threw your entire life away. Enjoy that. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.